Hey guys, good day. Hey, I want to speak for just a minute about what it means to be a watchman. In Ezekiel 33, God himself tells the prophet Ezekiel, which I think he's also telling us at the same time. He says, I have set you to be a watchman over the house of Israel. And he says, whenever you hear a word from my mouth, or a word from the Bible, you shall give them warning for me. So basically he says that if you fail to give this warning, that means the blood of those who should have been warned, who are the wicked, will be on your soul. But he says if you rightly give them the warning, and then they still don't heed that warning, he says you will have been delivered from your soul. So I feel that some of the times that's the reason why I do these videos. You know, I hate the fact that these videos are so dire. These, this is my the latest set of ten videos. You know, the, the destruction of the USA, judgment on the USA, Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, do not put your hope in Trump. Do not put your hope in the United States. You know, God will send the aliens. It's just, it's just dire stuff. But it's all from God's word for the most part. And I have to tell you guys, today is going to be this message is going to be probably one of the worst ones you're ever going to hear. Um, so the study that I gave yesterday about the destruction of the USA, this person watched woman. She said, while I realize your intent is to educate people, these repeated impending destruction videos are not encouraging. And I, I agree. Please consider more videos that are uplifting and edifying to the body of Christ. And I want to do that. My, I promise my next video after this one will be that. It's going to be about what it means to be a watchman. And, um, or called to be a watchman and what our tasks are. as uh, To work in the Lord's vineyard. But uh, I, I feel your pain. I, I don't like to do this, but I feel like I just, I've just i done a bunch of destruction videos. But when this happens, where do you think the kids are going to be? Is the Lord going to allow the little ones to be here for this? I, you know, I don't know. Let, let's see what Scripture says. So I've done a, bits of this these videos before. Um, so I want to speak about the Word of God. And I want, I want the Holy Spirit to, to tell. To, you know, I, I don't want to be interpreting this myself. I just want to read the words of Jesus and you know, make a just a, an honest assessment of what it means. I don't want to go any deeper than that. I want the Spirit to tell us all. So in Matthew 19, Jesus makes the declaration. He says, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for such, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. He's telling us that the little children belong to God, not their earthly parents. That's hard for people to, to grasp. You know, they don't even think about God half the time, or even 10% of the time. Yet, God, those children are God's children. He's loaned them out temporarily. So keep that in mind. Okay, Matthew 24, Jesus said, How dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. Mark 13, he says the same thing. That's the Olivet Discourse, where Jesus is describing what it's going to be like about the time that he returns. In Luke 23, while he's carrying the cross to be crucified, he's walking along the way, and the women of Jerusalem are weeping. And he says, Women of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves, for the time will come when they, or you will say, Blessed are the childless women, the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. So why would Jesus say how blessed it would be for women to have never been pregnant or to not have nursing babies? Could he know what Hosea 9 is referring to? Hosea 9, verses 11 through 14. Ephraim's glory shall fly away like a bird. No birth, no pregnancy, no conception. Even if they bring up their children, I, the Lord, will bereave, will take them till there is none left. Woe to them when I depart from them. And the prophet says, give them, O Lord, what will you give? And God himself says, give them a miscarrying womb and dry breasts. So I think Jesus, you know, he knows how to interpret scripture. He knew about this prophecy. So you guys take that to the Lord. So I have another document where I talk about scriptures from the Old Testament for the most part. These are scriptures that I would say are not fulfilled, or there might have been a partial past fulfillment. But these scriptures are about the day of the Lord. If you read these, the context of these verses, these are all about the day of the Lord. And so what does God say? God has a plan. He says, therefore, hear the plan. You know, I've asked some pastors about this plan. They don't know about God's plan for the little ones. 
He says, therefore, the prophet says, therefore, hear the plan that the Lord has made against Babylon. Surely the little ones, the children of the flock, shall be dragged away. The word in Hebrew is drawn up and removed. Doesn't mean killed, it means taken. Hosea 5.14, for I will be like a lion to Ephraim, and a young lion to the house of Judah, that would be the modern day Jews. I, even I, will tear and go away, I will carry off and no one can rescue so you can see Jeremiah 50 and Hosea 5 are speaking about the same event. Behold, like a lion coming up from the thicket of the Jordan against the perennial pasture. Okay, that's the same terminology here. That's Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah. The prophet Hosea, for I will be like a lion. It's the same, it's the same thing, guys. Hosea 9, we just read. Isaiah 47, to the daughter of Babylon, that would be non-believers. Two things shall come to you in a moment in one day, the loss of children. Isaiah 49, verse 22, the entire chapter of Isaiah, if you are a watchman, a servant of the Lord, when you read Isaiah 49, you are reading about yourself. That's you. So go read Isaiah 49 and say, I'm the one doing the talking. That's what you'll get out of this. Look what it says. It's thus says the Lord your God, behold, this is the Lord speaking, behold, I will lift up my hand to the nations, judgment's coming, and raise my signal to the peoples, it's the sign of the Son of Man, or one of those signs we're waiting for in the sky, and they... The angels from, my, from Matthew 24, in my opinion, shall bring your sons in their arms and your daughters shall be carried on their shoulders. Kings, that would be the kingdom of priests. Remember the Lord said in Re uh, Revelation 1, I will make you, my faithful followers, a kingdom of priests, kings and queens. Kings shall be your foster fathers and queens shall be your nursing mothers. I read where a little girl had a dream a while back where she saw a woman with seven breasts nursing a bunch of babies. That was a little girl in her dream, and this was at the time of the rapture. Queens will be, these, these are little children here that still need to be nursed. And this is literal. God's not speaking allegorical here. With their, This is the left behind parents. With their faces to the ground, they shall bow down to you. That would be you, would be the servant who's been left behind as a harvest worker to tell everybody what God just did. And they will lick the dust of your feet. You see the same thing in Revelation 9.1 to the church of Philadelphia. They will lick the dust of your feet. <clears throat> For thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken. And the prey, the hostages of the tyrant shall be rescued. This, in my opinion, are the, the servants that are there in the un deep underground military bases. You know, the elites, they have these... These people that have been taken captive to make their beds and cook their food and clean their toilets, they're all going to be rescued. And for I will contend with those who contend with you, says the Lord, and I will save your children. Jeremiah 10. Behold, I am, this is the Lord speaking, slinging out the inhabitants of the land this time. And I will bring distress on them. My tent and the, the folks that are left behind, my tent is destroyed. All my cords are broken. My children have gone from me. Gone, literally gone in the, in the original Hebrew. They are not. Jeremiah 31, thus says the Lord, a voice is heard in Ramah, lamentation, bitter weeping. Rachel, the Israeli women over there, Rachel is weeping for her children. She refuses to be comforted because they are no more. Gone in the original Hebrew, same Hebrew word in Jeremiah 31, 15 as Jeremiah 10. There is hope for your future, says the Lord, and your children shall come back to their own people. So this is right from the word of God here. This is God's word. There's, there's no, you know, I'm not adding to this at all. But there are people who receive modern day prophetic words. And strangely enough, their prophetic words sound a lot like what the Lord's speaking about here. So these prophetic words are 1 Corinthians chapter 12, gifts of the Spirit. Uh, there's been just a smattering of these, a few of these. These don't come out very often to talk about these babies. So I'm not going to read all these. You guys can download this document. And if you question about how to download a document, if you go to my YouTube channel and you go underneath the, um, the comments section, you click on the, the document and there you go. That's how you download it. So if I go back to the document, you guys can, I'm sorry, you guys can look at these. I mean, look what it says here. One day there will not be one child left upon your planet. All at once, the children of the earth will be removed, snatched from the arms of their parents, and snatched from the wombs of their mothers. And it speaks about alien ETs showing up. This will be the first major wake-up call 
to your planet as a whole. And that word planet, the Lord used planet, okay? The earth isn't flat. Please give me a break, guys. Wendy Lee, same type of thing. She talks about, uh, we learn that the innocent ones will be taken before or on a different occasion than the sun's bride. See, the, the, the bride of Christ is going to be taken up at the end of the time of trial because they are harvest workers. Some of the bride might leave early. Take it to the Lord. Another word from her, for another word from uh, Wendy Lee. Right here, Father God is Yahweh is going to catch away in a rapture all my babies of the earth. It will be a mournful time for those parents. Remember those parents that had those children and never gave God a thought? They didn't realize that those children actually belonged to God. For I will have removed the innocent ones away from every harm. See how? When I mention this to people, they say to me, oh, the Lord would never do that. Oh, really? You speak for the Lord? You know that he would never do this? You know his plan? I, I, I'm surprised when I tell people what God's going to do from God's own word. And they shake their head and they say, it's like Peter. Surely, Lord, you're not going to go to Jerusalem and be crucified. And what does God, what does Jesus say? Get behind me, Satan. So I, I get very indignant when people tell me God's not going to do something when he says he's going to do it right here. He is going to take, in a rapture, all the little ones of the planet. Now, whether he does it before or after World War III, I don't know what. Because there are many scriptures that talk about babies being dashed against the stone. Therefore, here the tumult of war shall arise among your people, and among your fortresses shall be destroyed. Okay, And in that day of battle, battle, battle mothers were dashed into pieces with their children. This event, I think, occurs during World War III, and maybe this baby rapture happens afterwards. This is what confuses people. They read these verses where it talks about babies being dashed to pieces and pregnant women being ripped open. It's a horrible thing to talk about, but it's in God's Word. But look what it says. They shall fall by the sword. Their little ones shall be dashed to pieces and their pregnant women ripped open. You know, I don't know the answer other than take it to the Holy Spirit. It appears this is an, a, a maybe World War III. And these raptures, these baby raptures, occur before God's judgment. You take that to the Lord, not me. I can't make a, I can't make a determination. So you guys can download this document and you can read these prophetic words. Um, here's one from Barb at 278 Pug Lake. Time will stand still. The raptures will take place. Take, 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 place very close together. First the innocents, then the children, then my bride. So here's one. My daughter, write my words. The angels in heaven prepare for the changes soon to come. The innocents will be arriving while my bride is transformed to fulfill her duties in the harvest of the backslidden and lost. Okay, guys. I'm not going to go through these. You guys can go through these. But mark my word, when the Lord says he's going to do something, He's going to do it. So with that, guys, have a great day, and God bless you.